Hello YouTube, and welcome to this week's version of Crash Course. I wonder where we're going to explore today. Let's see. Uh, you know, that sounds about right. Southern Europe. Also located there. Specifically, we're going to be focusing on northern Italy and southern France. Um, in between the 12th and 14th centuries. Uh, so I wonder why we're exploring this area of the world. Well, we're going to be exploring the Cathar heresy. Uh, the Cathars were a Christian dualist uh, religion people um, who believed that there was one good God who created the spiritual realm and an evil God, preferably Satan, who created the physical realm and the visible world around us. So this includes marriage, human bodies, all of that good stuff. They were not about procreation uh, or anything about the physical world uh, because all of that had to do with Satan. It's also believed that the Cathars were the first feminists um, because they believed that human souls were just genderless angels trapped inside of the physical realm uh, by the devil. So women were allowed just as many rights as men in the Cathar uh, religion. <laughs> nice job, Cathars. We see you. <laughs> the Cathars are also known as the pure ones, friends of God, and Christ is poor. Uh, depending on who you ask. Um, and they're also called the Albigensians after Albi, a city in France where they believe that the, this movement originated. But their origin story is quite confusing. Uh, it's believed that Catharism is actually an infiltration of Balkan and Byzantine heresy that uh, had infiltrated southern Europe. Uh, even Cathars say, themselves say that they have fellow believers in Byzantine. Here we go, a catalog of heretical tenets. That there are two principles, one holy good, the other holy evil. That the good God did not create these corporal bodies. That the good God is not the creator of all things. That all things are not subject to one God only. That Christ is not greater than all others. That God will not condemn for all eternity. That God neither infuses nor creates new souls. That men do not go directly to hell or to rest. That Christ does not suffer our afflictions. That God does not make nor has he made anything of a perishable nature. That Christ brought flesh from heaven. That Christ is not God. That Christ is not the son of the Blessed Mary. That Christ did not take on flesh from the Blessed Mary. That the Blessed Mary was not a woman. That Christ was not a true man. That he did not eat in the bodily sense. That he did not suffer in the flesh. That he did not die. That he did not ascend in the flesh. That he did not truly rise again because he was not dead. That he did not rise again in the flesh. That he did not ascend into hell. That the Holy Spirit is not given the baptism of water. That John the Baptist was evil. That he was not a man in corporal sense. That there is no resurrection of bodies. That children cannot be saved. That the law of Moses is not good, nor are there prophecies. Uh, that the patriarchs of the Old Testament are not saved, that the Old Testament is not from the good God, that Moses was evil, that there was no salvation through the law of Moses, nor is there any, that the good God did not lead the people out of Egypt, that God the Father did not speak to the patriarchs of old, that the good God did not prescribe circumcision, that Adam was not from God, that before the advent of Christ there was no good, there were no good men, that Christ is not equal to the Father, that those things which are visible are not from God, and according to the Old Testament, an enemy is not to be loved. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, that the angels who fell from, are the sheep spoken of in the gospel, that the baptism of water is nothing and it, uh, uh, no efficacy, that the Holy Spirit is not given without the imposition of hands, that there are no, that, that there are that they are not both good and wicked persons in the church of God. That priests and deacons, if sinful, ought not to be in the church of God. That the evil life of a prelate harms both the communicant and sacrament. That priests ought not to govern the people. That evil priests cannot perform their function or confer any good thing. That the church of God ought not and cannot own anything except as property and common. That there should not be sub deacons or acolytes in the church. That the church cannot institute customs. That no sinful person can be a bishop. That a church edifice is not a good thing, nor should one pray there. That the church ought not to prosecute evil doers. That, um, evil doers. that the church cannot excommunicate. That the church ought not to perform rural services in the way it does. That anointing with oil is worth it. Worth. That anointing with oil is worthless. That the sacrament of the altar is worthless. That alms should, not, should, should, should be given only to the good. That there should be no prayers or chance except the Lord's prayer. That sin does not arise from free will. That there is no original sin. That a man cannot do penance after sin. That no sin can be committed except that which was committed in heaven. That the work of the devil is nothing other than sin. That there is no purgatorial fire. That there is no hell. That the good God gives life and does not kill. That the evil God gives life to and kills bodies. That the God who grants grace does not impose punishment through either good or wicked person. That the God who punishes does not grant grace. That the torment of punishment is not the work of the good God. That souls are not banned. That the world always has existed and always will exist. Uh -huh. That under no circumstances can a man be saved by faith alone. That a man cannot be saved through faith in his father and mother. That one cannot go to confession. That judgment has already been rendered. That nature is evil. And that evil can be saved. That this is a sin. That neighbor does not mean every man. That no one should be excommunicated. That mercury is not forbidden. That man need not resort to ill gotten deeds. That one ought not to take ill. It is not permissible for any one to kill. That punishment ought not to be inflicted. Uh, that justice ought not to be rendered by man. That justice should be deferred to the power of the purpose of the religion. That the devil has power to create sin. That the rulers of evil in heaven and evil. That man can give the Holy Spirit. That the Holy Spirit and the Spirit are not sin. That the air man is not soul. And that the hands ought not to be conjured. Um, so, yeah. Because of that list, the Pope Innocent III and also all Catholics and uh, essentially all Christians didn't really vibe well with the Cathars, um, and thusly they were persecuted. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, catch us next week. Crash Course is sponsored by my high school uh, high school teacher, uh, Michael Alexander. 
Um, and Thought Bubble is also worked through with Emmy, Christina, and Maya. So thank you guys uh, for helping me out with this. Um, yeah, so, you know, leave a comment down below in the comment section about what you want to learn next. Uh, and, yeah, we'll see you next week. Thank you. Thumbs up this video if you enjoy. <laughs>